What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of The Narcissist Code. I'm your favorite self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammett, better known as Mental Illness across all social media platforms. If this is your first time seeing my face or hearing my voice, I'm a diagnosed narcissist, and I use my platform on social media to raise awareness for NPD, get more people into therapy, and also validate the victims and survivors of said disorder. Today's episode is going to be about how narcissists do not care about being right. They don't, y'all. I know it sounds weird. It's like, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, Lee. I'm going to stop you right there. Early. I'm going to cut you off early, Lee. We, we love you. We love your stuff. You love the stuff you put out. But right there, brother, you are lying, narcissistic. It, it makes sense, though, because you're narcissistic. You like, you like to lie. We got you, Lee. No, y'all. Narcissistic people do not care about being right. They just don't want you to be right. They just don't want you to feel like you, you, got, you got over on them, like you won an argument or what you say is correct and things like that. And they don't care about being wrong. I feel like so many people get tied up and I tell people this all the time, y'all. All the time. One of the worst things that you can do when you're dealing with a narcissist is let them talk too much. Y'all listen too much. Like, dear God, like actually, uh, how can you listen too much, Lee? You listen way too damn much to this stupid ass vitriol ignorance they be spitting out of their dumbass mouths. Like, literally, there was a, a conversation that could take five to ten minutes. Ends up taking the whole night. You end up standing through all the hours of the night arguing about something that you know you're right on. Why do you want to argue the truth? You can't get through to them because they already know that they are wrong. I feel like so many people just like you because you want to put you how you think on the narcissist you're like well they they can't know so i have to convince them you can't convince them because they already know that you're right they just don't want you to feel right so they will spend hours upon hours upon hours gaslighting you making shit up just saying different stuff to you to get you to you know to get you to give up to exhaust you they don't want to be right and like i said in the video a lot of times you'll end up apologizing to them for being right if you if you end up apologizing to them about for you being right about something, you lose this relationship, this dynamic, whatever you have going on with this person. You're pretty much done for. Honestly, I'm just keeping it real. y'all. You're pretty much like literally a cooked damn goose in this relationship right here. You are. These, these, you, this is a net loss. This relationship is a net loss for you because so many people get into these relationships. and You don't know. Like, I just want how do I get through to them? How do I make them understand you don't? That right there. How do I get through to you? How do I get through to y'all that you can't make them understand your viewpoint because they don't care. They don't want to be right. They don't just don't want you to be right. They don't care about being wrong. How do I get through to you? So many people are worried about getting through to the narcissist. How do we get through to you? How do we get you to take the focus off of them because it can't be on them because you can't do you don't have the power over them. You don't have the, the, the control over that person. To do anything about that person. You can't fix that person. You can't heal that person. There's nothing you can do for that person. But so many people just get up like, I don't, I just feel like I'm giving up on them. I don't, I don't want to abandon them. When you don't want to give up on them or you don't want to abandon them, you are in, essentially giving up on yourself and abandoning yourself, your own mental health, your own mental wellness, your own personal well being. So many people are y'all so willing to sacrifice yourself for somebody who's not giving you shit. They're not giving you what you need or deserve, but y'all is so you so willing to sacrifice your lives for these people for what? For what? What gain? It seems like it's a net loss. You know you're right. Hey, honey, it's a great, beautiful blue sky today. What? The sky is not blue. The sky is actually green. You're ignorant as hell. Like I can't believe you see the sky is blue. Y'all gonna argue about the sky being blue? Y'all gonna argue about the sky being blue? A clear, evident blue ass sky. You want to argue about it being blue for what to prove them wrong? You know, you're right. Don't argue when you know you're right. Who cares what they think when you're walking away? They're like, hey, look, I know. Look, just say your piece and disappear. Get, get away from them. You know your truth. You know the truth. And understand that as a narcissist, I don't care about being right. Being right is not what I'm aiming for. You know what I mean? Literally. Being right is not what I'm aiming for. I'm aiming for you to, you to not feel right. I'm aiming for you to just be exhausted, give up, 
you know, give up or give in or say something like I said in the video, say a statement like, well, let's just agree to disagree. We both can be right right here. No, you cannot both be right about the sky being blue or green. You know what I mean? You can't both be right. Let's agree to disagree. No, that's a loss for you. This is uh, whatever you, whatever it takes for you. I know I'm right. Don't argue. You also wait. You waste so much of your lives arguing and breathing out hellfire and brimstone into these evil ass people for what? For what gain, y'all? Some, some of y'all are getting treated terribly, but you want to win an argument, so you spend six hours arguing. You wasted six whole hours arguing on your deathbed. Are you going? You going to wish you had that six hours back doing something that you doing something that you could appreciate? You going to wish it. Like, I wish I had those six hours. Those six hours I spent arguing with the sky was blue or green. I wish I had those back. I could have lived a little bit more. I could have went to the. You could have did something for yourself instead of trying to prove somebody wrong. They already knows they're wrong. They who doesn't care about being wrong. They just don't want you to be right. Don't waste so much of your time arguing, y'all. Like I said, so many people want to get through. How do I get through to them? How do I get through? You know, you know. How do I get through to them? You know. How do I? How do I? How do I get through? How do I get through to you, y'all? How do I get through to y'all? I want to know how to get through to y'all to hammer home the fact that you can't fix a toxic person or a narcissist. You can't do that. You can't make them see your viewpoint. You can't make them understand how you feel. You can't do any of that. There's so many people, y'all waste so much of your lives. Like, I'm just taking a step back. I'm just like, look, that's your life. If you want to waste your life, go ahead and waste it. That's your life. You're going to look back and you're going to look back 10 years from now and wish you were stronger on May 17, 2022. You're going to wish you were stronger on this date from 10, 10 years in 10 years from now um, um, on May 17, 2032. You're going to wish you were stronger in 2022. If I had just been stronger, I could have been happy now, but I'm sad. That's on you. Are you going you to blame them? They're not going to change. I I'm telling you right now, they're not going to change. This is who you're going to be dealing with. So 10 years from now, if you're still blaming them, you're going to be blaming them 20 years from now, 30 years from now. When you die or they die, you can be blaming them and they're going to be blaming you for them dying early. Y'all, I'm just telling you. That's just so frustrating, y'all. I don't know. I just get frustrated. I talk to so many people, you know, all the time, them there every day. And it's just frustrating to see people just throw their lives away. You know, just see that. Just like so many people out here were, you know, born with less, you know what I mean, disabilities and things like that. And then to see people who were born with all this love, caring, and compassion waste their lives on people who don't deserve it, it's just crazy. It's like y'all wasting your lives on somebody who doesn't deserve it. And there's people out here, you know, people out here who can't, do, who, who wish they were in your position of life. Mm. Mm. Put it in perspective, y'all. Take, your, take, take yourselves out of it. You know, y'all so hell bent on trying to prove yourself right to this person? Stop it. Today is okay. You didn't you, okay before today. You didn't have this knowledge. Today you got it. Today you understand the point right here. The dead person that you're arguing with, you that keeps you up all times of night just to prove a point to you. They don't care about proving that point. They just care about you giving up and saying that they were right or you apologizing. They don't care. They want. They will just want to argue. They just want to argue. Scream, yell, and fight. They end up having sex or something like that, and then boom, gotcha. Highs and lows, ebbs and flows, ups and downs, y'all. I just keep telling people that all the time. I just like it blows my mind that people don't listen. It's cool. It's cool though. Like I said, I'm, I'm sometimes I'll be happy that I'm a narcissist. I hear these sad ass stories and people give up. Yeah, you y'all give up your lives and stuff like that. I'm just like, well, that's your life. It's your life. I, I all I can think, only thing I can do is put this information in front of you, right? And then it's up to you to take take hold of it. You know what I mean? It's up to you to do something with it. It's up to you to take your power back. Give it this information. To take this information and change your life, and do it. You know, do something with it. They don't want to be right, y'all. They just want you. They just want you to literally give up and prove. And they, they want you to be just feel wrong. Your rightness. They want you to question your truth, your authenticity, the reality of the situation. They want you to question reality. And when they when they get you questioning reality, go and cancel Christmas. You lose. Literally, if they can get you to question reality, cancel Christmas because you one hundred percent lose, y'all. You just are. So you have to take back your power and stand in your truth, y'all. Right now, today, to uh, Mark, May twenty May twenty uh, May seventeenth, twenty twenty two is the day you take your power back. Because if you don't, again, you lose. Absolutely, it's a loss, a net loss for you your family, your life. 
So if you have to stay in these relationships, if you if you want to stay in these relationships, understand that like they don't care about being right. Take this information and understand it's like damn, they actually really really don't care about being right. They don't care. Bam, got you. They don't care about being right. So I'm gonna say my piece that I know my truth, and I'm just gonna leave it at that. Hey, I know I'm right. I know I know my truth. You can say what you want to say, do what you want to do, but I, at the end of the day, I know right now that I am in I am in the right. I, I'm not in the wrong. Thanks though. This is your life, y'all. This is absolutely your life. Live it. Is your, is, if your life is worth living, live it. But let me hop off here, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning into another episode. I really, truly appreciate y'all. If you haven't already, y'all, like and subscribe to the channel. Um, I really, I'm just thankful, y'all. I really, really am. Don't waste your lives. They don't care about being right. They don't care about being wrong. They just don't want you to feel feel good about beating them. They don't want to feel defeated. The shame that comes along with the loss of you being right. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mental illness is out. Peace.